I'm in, I'll, I, I live in Eastern Jerusalem, in a mostly Arab neighborhood, and I used to shop in these Arab stores close by, but, but the Arabs let me know that they have a problem with me shopping there because the Hamas and the Fatah are always watching them. And when I come into the store, it looks bad to them, and they'll come to the Hamas Fatah, will come to them and ask them questions afterwards, like, why were you nice to this settler or this Jew or Zionist? Anyway, so I stopped going there in order not to harm them. So I'm walking past the store one day of the store owner, his name is Daoud, and I see that he's got a poster of a fist smashing the Star of David. But this was too much for me to bear, as you could see in this conversation sometimes, it's too much. And I went into the store and I said, Daoud, what is this? You, 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 you have municipal rights here, you have you know, our roadways, our water, our electricity, you have a life here, you have a beautiful house, not a poor house like Alan describes. You have, you have everything here. How is it that you put up this disgusting poster? So he starts to yell at me. He goes, you Jews, you settlers, and he starts giving me the worst time. Now there were other people in the store. Meantime, when they hear him yelling at me, they clear out. Nobody wants a rumble, right? They just want to have a nice day. So they're out of the store. The minute everybody's out of the store, he comes right to my face and he says to me, Ishai, don't be stupid. I said, what? <laughs> I, like his whole tone changed and he just gives me, don't be stupid. I said, what do you mean? He goes, what does it say in Arabic on this poster? I said, I don't know. He says, it says, boycott Israeli products. Smash the Zionist state, boycott Israeli products. I go, okay. He goes, come here, look at the fridge. What do you see? Tnuva and all Israeli products. Everybody knows I sell Israeli products. Why do I put this uh, poster here? It's my mezuzah, he says. It protects me from the Hamasnikim. I show them, no, no, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm against the settlers and the Jewish state. But everybody knows that I sell Israeli products. So I said to him, oh, you know, so I'm like, why, doesn't the, why don't you just get Israel to protect you? He goes, your police will never protect me. You guys will never get into my village and found who would burn down my store or beat me. Your insurance companies aren't going to protect me. And being a right-winger and believing in sovereignty means that we will protect Dawood from the jihad. We'll make sure that he'll have his store. He can sell whatever products he wants. He doesn't have to pay protection or to put up a mezuzah so, of, of hate. You gentlemen have done an extraordinary job.